right. Um, after I've done my cutting. So I opened up my packages from um, Folger Tech uh, with regard to the rods. And at first I was like super thrilled because if you look at all these threaded rods here, they've already been cut. So it appears that Folger Tech, although they advertise that you have to cut your own threaded rods, they have provided them already cut to length. Except there are supposed to be two of these long um, 17 and a half length threaded ones. So they shorted me one, which puts a big damper on things. Um, I thought that was for the, the Z axis, but the more and more I think about it, I think these guys are the Z axis, these thinner ones. So this is probably, um, gosh, probably a, a, a Y axis, perhaps. Don't really know, but I'll investigate. But I'm supposed to have two of this length. I only got one. Everything else, lengthwise of the threaded stuff, was there. So they will get an email from me. They do provide a uh, email right at the bottom here. If you feel something's missing, uh, let us know as soon as possible. Well, I got it yesterday. I would imagine today is as soon as possible. Um, regarding the uh, smooth rod. Um, they did come in 500 millimeter lengths, whatever, um, and I, I was able to cut all those down. Do yourself a favor, use a vise, wrap these with um, a cloth or something so that you don't mar the finish, because remember our linear bearings are going to be um, sliding on these. You don't want any imperfections if you can help it. I cut mine with a uh, angle grinder with a cutoff disc, a little four and a half inch angle grinder by DeWalt. Um, seemed to do just fine getting through it. The chrome portion of this is uh, a little harder, but once you get past that it goes pretty smooth. Uh, also do yourself a favor, take a file or that same grinder and um, you know, finish your edges, just round them a bit so you don't cut yourself because they will leave nasty burrs. Once they're installed in the machine or the printer, it might not make much difference, but um, have some class, you know, finish your ends of your rods. Um, on that note, the, the rods that did come from Folger Tech were finished quite nicely. That's actually always a concern of mine, when you're cutting through threaded rod, um, you have an easy tendency to booger the uh, Booger the ends so that a nut wouldn't start on it. Um, so definitely take a, a file, your grinder, paper the end so that you have a good start. Um, and da, 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 da. I think the next step for me, short of sending the email asking for another one of these uh, threaded rods, is to go to the hardware store and try to pick up those uh, screws to hold the power supply on too. Um, I don't care really. If uh, if I can find this threaded rod at the hardware store, it's not a big deal. I'll continue the build and then let them send me one eventually. Um, the nice thing is is that these, all of this hardware is supposed to be stainless steel. I believe it's stainless steel. I would imagine what I'll find at the hardware is store is not stainless steel, so it will probably be wise eventually to swap these out when I get all the right stainless steel parts. Uh, that said, um, I think that's it for now. Um, I think I got a shopping trip ahead of me, maybe some breakfast. So I will let you guys go.